HBO On Demand people. I know you're the only ones watching this so far. Unless somebody was tuned in before I went live, uh, which would probably mean, in, I guess that'd be Kristen or somebody. But yeah, I don't know who else. Oh. All right, let's see how we're doing. Luckily, the landlord had an update. And a medieval had an update. What's this one? Small update and patch notes. Ray tracing is now merged into the main branch. You can access ray tracing around the game in DirectX 12. NVIDIA Ansel support added. Engine upgrade to Unreal 4.25. HDR monitor support. Nice. That means the medieval is going to be looking really good. I might have to check out some in Medieval later. Ring of Pain has an update. I haven't played that in a while. Matter of fact, I haven't played it since December 21st, so I'm sure it has changed quite a bit. Subnautica got another update. Well, that's because May 13th was their launch day. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Lunar Storm. Yeah, so it looks like Subnautica Below Zero has actually launched, and there was a launch live stream on the 14th. And um, but that's not what we're playing. Before anybody asks, no, I'm not playing Mass Effect today. I may not play it on stream, or at least not very much until I get a, a feel for it, because uh, it's just too story-driven for me to be able to engage with chat. What the hell's going on? Now I see there's a delay again. Lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple. And Test. Happy. That was until there's a slight delay all of a sudden. Heard a voice. I don't understand why. Has There's almost nothing running. This is a brand new Streamlabs update. Saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord. Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs Hello, to Katie. From all Hello, ungodly atheist. World. Stream seems fine on your end. Well... I guess what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a delay. And I'm wondering. Let me turn the audio down a little on Isaac. I'm wondering if the delay is obvious across the board. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. You tried getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Yes. Hopefully the timing isn't uh, too much of an issue, not too distracting, but I'll try and take a look at it later. But I've already rebooted and updated. I'm going to guess, let's see. I need a Bethany win to unlock... Resurrection, I think, will be unlocked with Bethany. Let me let me double check this. Maybe it's
Is that it? Revelation 2 whole soul hearts grants you the ability to fly, holding the fire button, charge up a light beam. Yes. Unlock this item by defeating Mother in the Corpse 2 as Bethany. I don't even have access to that, I don't think. Only boss on the second floor of Corpse. Open the flesh door at the end of Mausoleum Gehenna, which I don't have access to. I'm a mega one off. Let's see. Like knife piece, knife piece two, and downpour in mines and sharp key. But I don't even have access to mausoleum. There's an alternate floor to the depths that was added to Bonnie Murphy. The door to mausoleum will not, will not appear after defeating mom. Girls defeat mother, you must use the door to the mausoleum and defeat the boss in mines. I need like an unlock guide of here's what you have to beat in order to do this, but I think I have to beat, I think I still just have to get three hush wins. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, Dargendorf, but we'll we'll muddle through. I think I'm not going to get much done because, quite honestly, in order to unlock... Mausoleum is the alternate floor to depths. All right, I guess I need to figure out how I uh, unlock stuff in here. First of all, you unlock it by getting good. Uh, and I think I'm going to have to, I don't know, maybe play on normal for a bit, but. Unlockables. Oh, this is so frustrating. I can't see chat while I'm searching through this, so if you guys are saying anything. I 
All right, let me try it this way. Okay. So for Isaac, it's going to be chapter one is basement cellar and burning basement. Chapter 1.5 is downpour and dross. Now, how do I get access to those? Treasure rooms and downpour. Is after a secret exit is unlocked, a locked door to downpour one will appear after completing basement, etc. The locked door requires a key to enter. All right, so a secret exit. Why isn't it showing me what that is? So it's given me a link here, it just won't let me look at it. So now I've got to look for a secret exit. Okay, I have to defeat Hush three times to unlock a secret exit. Yes, that's okay. This is exactly what I looked up before. So once again, I'm back to, I can't do most of the new content until I beat Hush three times. And I'm thinking, uh, I might just do Bethany for fun, but All right, the tornado warning here in Lubbock last night was scary. I bet. I managed to beat the solar system challenge after watching your run. Oh, did I, did I beat it? I haven't. So maybe we'll do solar system one more time first. So I can catch up with the people who are passing me. Thanks for the subscription, the tier one sub, blah, blah, blah. Here's the sound. Recently finished the latest episode of Talk Heathen. I thought Kenneth and Johnny both did a great job and make a good pairing. I do too. Uh, I don't think Johnny will be on it as much, um, but he'll be on more. Kenneth should be on pretty regularly. There's a few other people who will be on regularly. Yeah, I thought they did great. All right. So that puts me here. And let me get my webcam thing cropped appropriately. So I'm not taking up so much room. There we go. That's done. The microphone just a little bit. <clears throat> um, although you may find Johnny in here. If you see Poison and Daggers, that's Johnny Angel. Hey, Jim. Jim Barrows, are you also on last night? I'm watching your skepticism of Catholicism video. Oh, nice. Fitbuzz says, hi, Matt Dillahunty. Is this a sound statement? Oh, boy. So first of all, statements aren't judged on soundness. It's arguments that are judged on validity and soundness. Validity applies to the structure of an argument, and soundness applies to whether or not the premises are true or accepted as true. So when you say, is this a sound statement, before I even read anything else, the first thing that pops in my head is, how can a statement be sound? I'm assuming that what you're asking me is, is this true? That's the only thing that may, way it makes sense. Assuming there have been a thousand worship gods throughout recorded history. Well, first of all, sound statements. I mean, all right, never mind. Let's sort this out. Most of the world population today would agree that at least 999 of those gods were man-made. Therefore, any one believer should also agree there's a 99.9% .9 chance their god is man-made. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. That's not how statistics works. That's not how a sound argument works. Um, that is a 
clawed, fallacious. Well. So first of all, you begin by assuming that there have been a thousand gods and that the overwhelming majority of people believe in one of them and they believe that 99, you know, the other 999 aren't true. Um, but that doesn't mean that the odds of their God being true are 99, because now if somebody goes and makes up 400 more gods, does that mean the odds are even worse for them? Doesn't matter how many are made up. Let's say there were only five gods. In history, only five gods have been presented. So that means that they should all agree that there's a 20% chance for their God. Oh no, now there's 10 gods. Now we do it. That's not the way any of this works. You don't calculate the odds of something just based on, oh, there's a whole bunch of them we know are, are flawed, are, are, are not real. None of that works that way. What you can do is say that the over, you believe that the overwhelming majority of gods that have ever been proposed aren't real and yours is real. What's the distinction? Uh, in the Tim Minchin song, um, Thank You God for Fixing the Cataracts of Sam's Mom, the one of the final, or one of the next to final verses is like, uh, Fuck me, Sam. What are the odds that of history's endless parade of gods, the gods you just happen to be taught to believe in is the actual one and he digs on healing? You can use that, you know, in an analogous sense to point out that it's unlikely that you've picked the right one of the ones that are proposed. But of the thousands of gods that have been proposed out there, how many of them are still being con considered real by somebody anywhere? And also, none of that is relevant to which one is true and what the odds are is true because the odds of the true one are 100%. I'll be right back. I need to clean my glasses. Plus there've probably been way more than a thousand gods proffered throughout history, especially when you consider that a lot of the people who think they're all worshiping the same God and the same religion, each of them has their own version of God in their head, which is different from the other people sitting next to them, which is how you ended up with a bunch of different denominations of Christianity because they can't agree on what God thinks or does. So no, you don't count the calculate the odds just based on the number of things that people have proposed. I just cleaned my glasses a minute ago. I think we're connected like Elliot and E.T. First you jinxed me into needing glasses. Now we clean our glasses at the same time. Yes, that's exactly how jinxes work. I just use a thousand to make the math more readable. That's why I said assuming. Sure, but if you're going to say 99.9% .9 of them are wrong, um, that's, I mean, that's still not, if they, if they thought that all the other gods were man-made, um, that doesn't mean that the odds that there's this man-made is, you know, they've only got a 0.1% chance of being right. Because I could absolutely believe that all of my friends who tell me about their girlfriends are making it up, and that doesn't mean that my girlfriend's made up. I know she lives in another state and goes to another school and you wouldn't know her. She's way too cool for you, but that doesn't mean I made her up. Hi, sweetie. If you'd like, I'd love to review some of the batshit logic the Roman Catholic Church uses to justify the Eucharist and other sacraments. I have the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the only place I found dogma. It's approved by the Pope and the Church as well. One of the, now, that, uh, now that COVID's... Uh, yeah, things are returning a little bit normal, Jim. We ought to have you just come over and we'll sit down and do an interview discussion over Roman Catholic Church for the atheist debates thing, kind of like I did with Arden the other day for her, her past. Currently watching most recent atheist experience episode. I'm enjoying it a lot. Nicole was a fantastic caller. I was happy to see she was really eager to challenge her own beliefs. Started off the call with claiming you hate Jesus, then you guys totally changed her mind. I regret to see there's still beliefs out there. Wondering. Yep, it's rare, but, and I can't say for sure that, you know, for all I know, she was a fake caller, but I'm, I can only address what people tell me. Awesome, when? Um, let's do it after, it'll, it'll be mid-June probably we can do it because it, it's gonna be, I've got other videos to knock out between now and next week when I leave to go to Florida. All right, let's try solar system.
ATDN, ATLA. Um, yeah, we start off with the Beelzebub transformation. Wow, I forgot. Yeah. All right, let's see how we do with this. Right off the bat, we get a Tented Rock. And we don't have keys for the die room, but I don't care about the die room. Wow, all right, we'll take a Blackheart 2. Uh, I think I might come back and pick that up before the next floor. Wow. Okay, if you have something for me, you're going to want to tag me because I'm going to miss it while I'm playing games. A friend of mine said that other religious beliefs are not true because they got their beliefs from what other people tell them in organized religion and not from the Bible like he does. Does he not realize that the Bible is what other people are telling him? I had to explain to him that he's using the no true Scotsman fallacy, that what he said is the same as believers in other religion. Tell me should say the same thing about his. And he said, well, they're wrong. I don't think he was listening. He definitely wasn't listening. If his complaint is that all these other people get their religion from what people tell them, and I get mine from the Bible. Well, first of all, the Bible is just what people are telling you. And worse, you don't even know who those people are, and you can't investigate them to find out if your version of the Bible is accurate to what they originally intended or meant. Um, okay, so it's a challenge. There's not going to be an item room. There's going to be potentially a store. I say we go ahead and fight the boss. Any pin or is it pin? It's pin. Hello, pin. Got something for you here. All right, so we're definitely going to take lunch. We're going to go back and get the black heart. And I don't think we're going to waste any time in any other room. Well, we could get bombs, we could get more soul hearts, we could get. or we could die. I'm not going to have coins to actually get um, anything from the store. Could be a greed fight in the store. But with no item rooms, I don't know that there's anything else to do. Assuming someone was planning a trip to Austin when international travel opens up and I can safely travel, where's the best place to get some barbecue in Austin? The best place to get barbecue in Austin is just outside of Austin. Two different places, actually. One's in Dripping Springs, and it's called Salt Lick. Although you can get it in Austin, you're better off going out to Dripping Springs to the actual Salt Lick. It's a 35-minute drive. Or you can go 35 minutes the other way out of Austin and go out to Lockhart to Black's Barbecue, which is the oldest barbecue operated by a single family uh, in Texas, and it's awesome. And those are my two favorites. Granted, yeah, Franklin Barbecue in town is... I think it's overhyped, but you're not going to get food there unless you stand in line for ages. Part of the overhyped thing. But yeah. But yeah, you're not going to find bad barbecue around. Jim's right there. Even when you go to Pokey Joe's and they, where they claim they're the worst barbecue in Texas, they're still great. A conversation with my grandfather saying, I see no problem living in a world where people can be beaten as I honed in the act of beating specifically. First time I've ever seen someone double down that hard. Okay. Is he okay if he's the one that's getting beaten? Lambert's on sixth. Expensive to good. I don't know if I've had Lambert's, but Style Switch is really good. Style Switch is one I actually don't like. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not my thing. Oh, I don't know what to do here. First thing I should probably do is order some lunch. Because I'm getting hungry. I 
Actually, I may hold off a little bit and see how this run's going to do. There's a new podcast that came out. This guy who was friends with Josh Duggar growing up and was in the same cult as the Duggars talked about what he saw. I don't think I want barbecue for lunch. Maybe. Would you be my slave based on the rules in the Bible but got lots of dodges and no real answers? You probably would have been hung up on if you were on the show. Probably, but that's... All right, so I'm, I'm trying to be smart about this. If there's no item room, it's unlikely I'm going to get an item. I could get, oh, I know why we need to clear. We need to clear because I could get a planetarium. Um, and I need to practice so that before I get over to level two or whatever, I'm actually warmed up. Go to the curse room if we got a card. Actually, there's lots of pauses right now on the system. I may, um, after lunch, just have to like reboot. There we go. That made it worth it coming down here to get two soul hearts. Uh,. We don't have coins for anything. We haven't gotten any coins. And we can't take out poops. Is this the new laptop? No, this is my desktop. Which reminds me, I should do a stream from the laptop soon before I take off with it, but. Two bombs, but I'm not completely sure where the secret room is. I think it's right here, but it could be over there. We're just going to go down. I have no keys. Yeah, there's some stuttering going on. What the? Oh, I didn't see the troll bomb because I was reading fucking chat. God damn it. If you do a laptop stream, can you do a little studio tour with it? No. I mean, yes, I can. I'm not going to. Hey, there we go. Tears and shot speed up when we have no tears. When I'm streaming here, I'm in a segmented off corner of my bedroom where my desk is so that I don't have to spread out over several rooms. The studio, if I stream down at the studio, I can show you, but I already posted a picture of it. It's nothing to... Oh, boy. I'm new here. Is this where we come to pretend Matt is some sort of logical Zoltar machine? Kind of. If a soul doesn't exist, how would you know if you collected a soul? Didn't collect a soul. Wow, that's another huge fucking pause. What the hell is going on with my machine? Okay. So first of all, uh... There's a Windows update and there was a Streamlabs update and between the two of them, this machine is now acting fucking funny. I'm gonna order food because I'm clearly getting hangry. Let's see. Let's 
Let's see if it will let me order Delaware. Dollar delivery for you. You're out of your fucking mind. So we won't be ordering from there. I collected a soul heart, not a soul. No, I haven't tried turning it off and back on again. Hmm. Should I stop the stream and do that right now? Or should I just put up with it and do it once lunch gets here? Like I said, I was going to. I don't know. What could be the best thing to do? Better not order pizza because Johnny's going to be in town later this week and he's going to want to order pizza all day, every day. China Express. Trippy Tacos has a $0 delivery fee. This sucks because I, I legitimately, I'm really hungry and I don't know what the hell I want. It's kind of frustrating. Thoughts on Biden funding Israel's genocide? Well, that's not a biased way to phrase a question, is it there, Simpy? Definitely not answering question formed like that. Okay, I'm going to do this just in case my roommate wakes up. I'm going to order us a bunch of kolaches. Eric, if you're in here,
Yes, I voted for Biden, and I don't have it. It's not any easier for me to watch Palestinians being killed. Um, I won't say murdered, because murder has a specific legal definition, and I don't know enough about what's going on and what the complications are. I know that you know, Israel and Hamas are at odds and innocent people are being killed, but I don't know what the right solution is. I will say, as I've said many times before, I wish America's default position of supporting Israel would fucking end because I don't, America isn't always right. Israel isn't always right. This is a, a pathetic uh, exercise in uh, just Hey, you're our friend, so we're going to support you no matter what you do. I think Israel's done lots of fucking things wrong, but I don't, I don't have any expertise here. And so I'm not going to dig in and comment on it. It won't be my hang-up on Wednesday, even though it's probably the most important thing going on in the world right now. Um, it definitely won't be my hang-up because I have no expertise, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. All right. Thanks for the tip, Jayfish. Much appreciated. If you tip every time I don't give an opinion on stuff, you might just get me to shut up. That was extra funny for me. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Probably sit right here and take them all out eventually. Oh, bullshit, you fucking cheating game. Do a fucking dive halfway across the map. And I can't get near the thing in the center because I can't damage the poop here to make that thing vulnerable. So it's just sitting there waiting to do damage to me all the goddamn time. But I, I don't have thoughts on it, Simpy. That's the point. There are lots of atrocities in this world. There are wars and conflicts that I couldn't even begin to tell you who's right or if anybody's right. <coughs> Did you hear about IB, IGN removing a page to charities supporting Palestinian civilians because it was one-sided? No. I didn't hear about it, nor do I care what IGN does. When we're worried about gaming news sites removing a page to a charity, uh, I'm pretty sure that gaming news sites weren't actually doing that much for charity. Now... Games Done Quick does, but IGN? I don't even know. Am, am I supposed to know if they were right or they're wrong? And you guys come in telling me a one-sentence description of something that happened. I can't possibly make my, my mind on that. I don't even know if you're telling the truth. I haven't looked into it or seen any of it. Yep. Thanks, Jayfish. Wow, this is hard. Have you thought about investing in crypto? No, I have not given a second's thought to inventing in crypto. Nor do I want crypto discussed in here at all. Ooh, here a fan drops two soul hearts. Nice. I am not a fan of crypto, nor do I think people are actually making money off of it. No matter how much they claim they are. Somebody comes in like, oh, I made $4,000 in crypto the other day. And my answer is, why did you have to tell me how much it was in dollars? If 
you just said, I made X in this currency, I'd have been like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, you had to convert it to dollars for it to make sense to anybody? Oh, and how much energy did we use mining that? Yeah. Um, I guess we go ahead and do the boss now. God, this is going to suck so bad. Damn it. I think if I stay right here, I can hit it on some occasions. I don't care how awful and weak this looks, it's the smartest thing for me to do. Oh, no, it's not. Not if he does a brimstone laser. All right. At least we moved. Uh, so I see my mods are back to working. That's nice. Spawns fine rabbit and cards. Cool. What are they? The fool, which lets us... Two of diamonds, two of spades, two of hearts. Two of spades. That. Two of diamonds isn't ready yet. Uh, Hierophant gives me two soul hearts. We want to take the fool card. We want to go to the devil deal. Please be good. Um, yeah, we take that. And do we take the Necronomicon? I think we do. Now we're going to go back to the curse room and use, oh no, no, we're going to use two of diamonds to double our coins. And now we're going to go back to the curse room and use the fool card to get out and then we'll go find the store. need a rune shard and I don't need to take damage from spiders so that's done let's go see about the store uh, I don't want voodoo doll I am gonna blow this up though take that Curse room each floor we don't want. Chariot's good. Let's keep going. Uh, two hearts I won't need. I'll take the chariot or the lovers. I think I take Chariot. Oh boy, more tags. Let's see. I have a question I've wanted to ask you for ages. There's a controversy in American archaeology about what to do with Native American human remains and grave goods, which many, not all, modern tribes consider sacred. Federal law requires that these objects be repatriated to descendant populations who usually rebury them in secret locations. Of course, this poses a problem for archaeology because it constitutes the permanent destruction of scientific data. However, American archaeologists are also anthropologists, and we're committed to working with descendant populations and correcting historical sins. Okay. Let me be really clear. Personally, I don't give a fuck about the dead or what anybody does with them. If they've been in the ground and they don't have an immediate descendant who's going there to visit the, the grave, and we're just talking multi-generations later, I don't care. But... What I think about it doesn't matter because there are people who do care. And so you work up a solution with the people who do care. Yes, I would like to absolve them of their magical thinking and their ancestor worship and their need to have bones be sacred. It's ridiculous. However, 
that's their right. And if that's what we're going to protect, then archaeology be damned. You don't get to say my desire to preserve scientific integrity trumps your right to your ancestors or whatever else. Um, because now you, you're in the position of being almost as silly of saying, oh, what you think and what you feel doesn't matter because what's more important is that future generations get, our, you know, get accurate information. Um, okay, chronicle it. I, I don't care what happens to the dead. When I'm dead, chop me up, part me out, hand out pieces to whoever wants it, burn it up, throw it overboard, let it fucking go to the bottom of the ocean. I don't give a shit because I don't exist. But I don't get to impose what I'd like done to my body to everybody else. And so one of the things is this came up in a debate with um, uh, Matt Slick and uh, not with me, Matt Slick and somebody else who got it all wrong. Because the question, it was essentially, you know, why do we respect the wishes of what to do with the dead? Because if, you know, if, if Matt's right or if the atheists are right, when they're dead, they're dead. So we're not hurting them. And I'm like, because A, they have loved ones who are going to care. And B, you hurt them while they're alive. If you live in a society where you know no one is going to care about your, your remains, then you are then anxious for the entirety of your life whenever you think about it. But if you live in a, in, a, in a society where you are confident that your wishes are going to be respected with regard to what you do, what to do with your body after you're dead, then all of that anxiety goes away. So it's about, it's the same thing with like, oh, here's somebody who's in a coma. By the way, the, the uh, content trigger warning for sexual assault here, but they were, they were asked at one point, hey, look, here's someone who's in a coma, who can't feel anything, who can't form memories, who doesn't, you know, have any interaction at all. What would be wrong with going in and having sex with them? They're never going to know. Nobody's ever going to know. Nobody's going to find out. And the point is that what, what is wrong is that you are now creating a society where you're saying this isn't wrong. And that gives somebody anxiety about what I don't want that to happen to me if I'm in a coma. And so you've added anxiety to all the life prior to the coma. Yeah, you're not going to hurt the person once they're in a coma. But prior to that, you've increased the anxiety, the worry, the dread uh, all throughout their life. And for many, many people, because you've created a society where, okay, we're just not going to respect what you want to have happen to you after you're dead. There's value in keeping your word and value in saying, yes, when you die, we're not going to just farm you out. We're going to respect what you want. Didn't this come up on AXP with Vegan Gains where he said we can't, we can eat dead people? I don't remember. I barely remember the call with Vegan Gains. That guy is a sociopathic monster. But do you see a parallel between this controversy and the controversy over stem cell research? Only, only in an incredibly loose sense where, like, I don't see much analogy between a person who lived a life and a collection of cells uh, that never came to fruition as a person. Um, I, yeah, there, you know, just because somebody has an attachment to something or magical thinking about something doesn't mean that we're always going to cave to it because then somebody could say, oh, well, you know, I have a spiritual connection to the trees, so stop cutting them down. Um, no, I think it's fair to draw lines um, at, you know, actual persons. Uh, but don't people have phantom memories from when they were in a coma? Well, that's not... So the thing you're talking about isn't memories. It's your brain making shit up when it recovers, assuming it recovers. Quick question. What do you think of... Sikhs having the right to carry a ceremonial dagger at school. I've heard many cases where students have been stabbed by students carrying this dagger, but Sikhs are angry because many schools are banning them. I've never heard a case of any Sikh actually stabbing someone with their dagger. Not one. As a matter of fact, as far as I'm aware, it would be a complete violation of their religion. And so if somebody's stabbing, stabbing someone with Sikh daggers, with Sikh kirpan or whatever it's called, um, it probably isn't the Sikh. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I 
am opposed. You know, if we're going to say, hey, you don't get to carry weapons at school, that includes your ceremonial weapon. So as a matter of safety, um, I, I'm opposed to that. There are certain religious freedoms that you just shouldn't get just because they're your religion. Sorry, Matt, I wish I could engage with you more on Twitch. I work 12, 16 hours a day driving a truck. I have to say I watched Sunday ACXP last night, and the call with Nicole went so well, especially after the Peter disaster made my night. Thank you for all you do. Thank you so much, Simo Catfish. By the way, for somebody who's asking uh, what it is in-game that's popping stuff up, that's a, an item mod. Mods have been turned back on. And so you can get and install this mod in Isaac, and it will tell you what things are when you get near them. And I still haven't ordered lunch. Ba ba ba. Oh, yes, I did. Wow. Order not accepted. Restaurant is unable to accept your order, you will not be charged. What the fuck? Why didn't you pop up a notification that tell, told me that? All right, well, now I have to order lunch again. It's a good thing I forgot I ordered. Uh oh. to figure out exactly what I want. This is the problem. So I've had to change my medications and I'm now on a couple different types of insulin and I need to eat. I need to eat now-ish. I don't think I can wait. Maybe I will get barbecue. Like, this is awful. Nothing looks good and sounds good at all. Um, it's Taco Tuesday, says my Uber Eats app. Nah, I definitely can't do pizza because Johnny will be here later this week and he just wants to eat pizza, 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 pizza all the time and not Little Caesars. I'll get a burger from Black Sheep Lodge. We're definitely not getting fried pickles again. That was not good.
Hey, Northern Spike just contributed to lunch. Thank you so much, Northern Spike. Appreciate it. Uh, it's going to be a burger and onion rings. From a good place. Let's see. hiccups let's do that wow, everything's running slow today fried cookie dough I think I'll skip it but thank you for trying to add that to the diabetics lunch order All right, let's make sure they're going to accept this order, unlike the last place that rejected it and canceled it. Order received, working on it now. All right, let's keep going with some Isaac stuff. Have you been able to get hold of David Pakman to reschedule? No. If I did, don't you think I would have announced that? You miss doing AXP in the studio, seeing the crew guests in person, or is there no desire to go back to the old format? We are going back to the old format, but it's not a big rush. I'm more worried about people's safety than I am about sitting in a building. The recent case where a student was stabbed in Sydney, Australia, now they've banned any sort of knives, whether religious or not, school, but thanks for the answer. Okay. Well, that's one I hadn't heard of, but I'm in favor of banning it. I, I don't think that carrying weapons uh, gets to be exempted by religious preference. I don't care how peaceful Sikhs are. Somebody else could grab that dagger and use it, but. Been battling depression for a while, and the great part is that I don't crave anything, or I'm feeling against eating anything, so ordering is so easy, I only need sustenance. I've been there, and I hope you get that sorted and get out of it, but yeah. And thanks for sharing, because not everybody is comfortable doing that. All right, where are we at? We have Necronomicon. Let's just use that in here. Because that's a big room I don't want to try to hunt everything down. Although, I think I would have... I should have waited, because I think I would have charmed all of those. It's like I've forgotten how to play this. There we go. How long have you been playing Isaac? Less than a year. New AXP format is cool, especially with our Canadian friends around. Well, that's going to stay. I mean, I may be in the building, but Sh Shannon lives in Canada. So when she's on, she'll always be remoted in. But, you know, I may be back in the building with the tech people. We're, we're coming up with a hybrid solution. And we'll be, whoa, implementing it slowly as our team is comfortable. And as they're vaccinated. Because right now, the only thing that's really changed is if you're vaccinated, you no longer have to wear a mask and social distance except in very specific circumstances. But how do you tell if somebody's masked? Or how, how do you tell if somebody's vaccinated? So... You know, at the ACA building, oh, I need to check my sugar. Put a new sensor on today. Not bad. I mean, not great, but not bad. Uh, but yeah, you, the little vaccine card. I don't know where my wallet is. The vaccine that card that they give you to show that you've been vaccinated. Um, if you want access to the ACA building during shows and stuff, you're going to have to have one of these. No one will be coming in. Uh, what are those critters? Giant maggots? I think so. I don't know. Jayfish, you live up there by Shannon? Sweet. 
Uh, I don't think there's... Yeah, we're not doing that. Although... Uh-oh. What's going on here? Is it, is it... Which curse is this? Curse of the Maze? Yeah. All right. Uh, this could be a secret room. I got four bombs. Why not? And I was right. We take the coins. We will bomb this. Take the belt. And we'll bomb that. Um, I'll take it, even though I'm not that concerned about Red Hearts. But I'm going to turn to family's vaccine. We're going to have to party on the 6th birthday. If you want to know if they're vaccinated, ask who they voted for. <laughs> nice. I thought vaccine decreased the risk. I didn't know you can no longer wear a mask. I thought vaccine decreases the risk. I didn't know you can no longer wear a mask. The CDC just um, updated... I did a show last Wednesday. On Thursday, the CDC updated their guidelines that for vaccinated people, masks are no longer required indoors or out. Social distancing is no longer required, uh, except for public transit and, you know, a couple of different exceptions. But you, saying mask isn't required doesn't mean you have to take it off. I'll still be wearing a mask quite frequently. I went to Walmart today to pick up my prescription from the pharmacy and I wore a mask, despite the fact that I'm vaccinated. But, yeah. The nice thing is that you can take a picture of your vaccine card. You don't necessarily have to physically have it. And since you can have your phone on you, that's the smartest thing you can do. Take pictures of your receipts. Take pictures of your vaccination card. Store that shit on your phone. And then you'll have access to it when you need it. Yeah, this is why I was too hasty to bomb that other room. Because these guys become charmed and are my friends. Uh, and also I use too many bombs, so I can't get into that room. the seatbelt sign on airplanes. Yep, pretty much. Let's go out and come back in. All right, so we have... Uh, it's not bad. That too. So now we have the Empress and the Chariot. So I just got to remember that we have both of those. Probably the Chariot's the one I want to keep ready. Um, oh yeah, we'll take another bomb. Oh, and this turns all pills into cards. So yeah, what's that? Now it's Temperance, which pawns a blood donation machine. Damn it! Completely hit the wrong button and just wasted the one bomb I, I went with. Um, all right, we can do this a little bit. Damn it, I ran into two. I hate taking bad damage. Okay, so let's go back. Now there's another heart on the floor. And we'll do that. heart.
How's this game compared to Hades? I promise I'm not trying to be a dick. I don't know how to answer that. It's older, it's more robust, it's completely different in style and art, it's not the same game. Uh, how is this compared to Hades? I'm playing it, I'm not playing Hades. I like both games. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're asking. Because even if I say, oh, this game's way better than Hades, that's just what I think. There are plenty of people who think Hades is better, but they're not the same thing. The play style's different. How does this game compare to chess? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. I wanted to say thanks again for the personal greeting from my wife yesterday. She showed it today and she was in shock. It was hilarious. I want to say something back. How can I donate something? Uh, there's lots of ways to donate something. There's a donate link down there where you can donate through PayPal. You can uh, join my Patreon, patreon.com slash atheist debates. You can, I don't know. Go to, uh, I don't know. That's, uh, yeah. How does this game compare to Super Mario Brothers? There's the tip link. Thank you. So that's one way. No problem. When I get Cameo up, you won't have to do that. You just get to send in money and say, you know, perform for me, monkey, fellow ape. Say what I want you to say, and then I'll say what you want me to say. The question about gameplay is a bit like the bitrate debacle yesterday. Yes, and I'm so glad we solved that, although I have noted that since up upping this to 6,000, uh, that's when the delay stuff started happening and the hiccups and other things. So, uh, But at least we got it sorted because all I was ever saying is I don't understand how I can have have it set up here, send it out to Twitch. Twitch sends it out to a whole bunch of people, and some of them it looks great, and some of them it doesn't. Isn't that on Twitch's side? But it turns out there is something that I could do here that would make it better, which is upping the bit rate to 6,000, which we did. So I'm grateful that it all worked. But, man, it was like pulling teeth, getting somebody to say, no, 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 here's, here's the how and why behind it. That's all I ever needed. Explain to me how to fix it, and I'll fix it. How does this compare to Star Fox? It's newer. I hate the graphic that appears at the top of the screen when you walk into a room. Oh my God. How did I take damage there? That's ridiculous. All right, so we're gonna go back. And we're gonna donate at least one more. And this thing's pumping out coins. Wait, what happened to the heart that was right here? Shit, what room was I in? This curse of the maze is bouncing me around all over. There they are. There's some on the floor. All right, so we come back over here. We get this heart. Thank you. And then we go... Back here, get this heart. Have I seen the good place? Yeah. All of it. It's great. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. How did I take two bits of damage there? All 
right, so I can come back in there for one more half heart. This thing keeps going. It's like, how much of my life is it going to take? Okay, we're, we're taking way too much time on this floor. No, movies are not just video games that don't allow you to make decisions. What kind of game could there be that doesn't allow you to make decisions? That's not a game. So you know your ICQ score, not that it matters. Yes. I know many of them, actually. And many different tests. Books, just movies you can read. Yes. Take growth hormones. Uh, yeah, we we'll just go. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I am really, really, really tired of the random pauses. Eighty nine per cent CPU. What the hell is running? Isaac Streamlabs. Wow, we've lost all of our health just in the last floor or so. That's nuts. Pinky eye doesn't do anything.
brightness filter keeps turning on and off. What the fuck? You're on a pedestal and I'm floating out there. You should not have been able to hit me at all. Uh. Nothing I'm running, neither Isaac nor Streamlabs, should be taxing this system in the slightest. Something has gone wrong since the latest Windows update and since the Streamlabs update. Not causing any problems. Wow. It's just everybody hears a problem and thinks they're an expert before they've even know what the setup here is here or what's changed or anything else and as someone who spent their entire life as an expert troubleshooter uh, not their entire life I guess since 1988 it's funny to try turning it off and turning it back on yes I'll be doing that just as soon as lunch arrives holy shit Damn it. Why won't this shit hit you? <sighs> we're going to lose this challenge. And then I guess we're going to go eat lunch because this is some bullshit here. Yep. That was a winning challenge that just all of a sudden, thanks to the hiccups, uh, failed. Can't work with pauses like that. Let me see how far my lunch is from being delivered. All right, we'll do a GeoGuessr while we wait for lunch.
This feels like Ghana. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Or Nigeria. Thanks again for streaming and answering my questions. I may call in to talk heathen or another ACA show. Somebody to get their take as well. Enjoy your lunch. Cool. Yeah. It's going to be all, all new people all over talk heathen. You can check them out, ask them questions, find out what's going on. Mix of license plate colors. Thanks for the bits. Much appreciated. So I'm wondering. I mean, we could be in Kenya. Is there a change in talk heathen? Yeah. V and Murphy uh, left and are going to go do their own show elsewhere. So this is, I, I saw the NAI stuff. Um, Don't know exactly where we are. We've got two minutes and 20 seconds or so to figure this out. Well, we could be in, anywhere in Africa, but I saw some items that were named like NAI something. So I'm thinking that that might tie to Nairobi, which means we're in Kenya. Um, I don't know all that well, but aquadrops.com. I was hoping to find like a top level domain that would let me know um, or something about the city. Full Gospel Church of Kenya. So, yeah, so there we go. We're in Kenya. And but we don't know where in Kenya. Family Care Eye Clinic. Definitely we're in Kenya. We got a minute twenty left. PEFA Church. This is feeling more like it's Mombasa than Nairobi. But having never been to either. Sharon Rose Limited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to go Mombasa. Not there. Nope, we were closer to Nairobi. We're actually out here in uh, Naivasha, on Lake Naivasha. So not as many points as we could have got. Uh, but still, you know, figuring it out. This feels like Colombia. I mean, it could be Ecuador, Peru, Colombia. It's like if I drop right here, I'm probably within 150 miles. 
but I could be way, way, way wrong. There we go. Gas pass. Chilco. Does that mean we're in Chile? Chile. Somebody says South America. Somebody says Peru. Somebody says Puerto Rico. But Chilco makes me think that this is gas in Chile and that we are probably like in this region. Maybe I'm more off than I thought. I don't know. Hello. With the... I, the biggest frustrations I have with GeoGuessr is when it stops allowing clicks and when you try to get off of the map and the map just won't go away. And sometimes the map goes away when I don't want it to. Let's throw out here. We got, what, two minutes and 48 seconds left? This is so dense. This is nope. We were in Colombia. I, I, I let you guys talk me out of it. Good job. If I'd have stayed where I thought we were up here, we'd have been close. Colombia. I said right off the bat, I should just trust my gut, and yet I don't. Because trusting your gut is bad. And if we trusted my gut as to how likely it was that I was right. Uh, wow, are we in Kenya again? We're somewhere in North and South Africa. Mind G complex. The other day we ended up in Kenya like three out of five times. Mama Elijah shop, Emirates pub. Club Mumo, Mumo Plaza, Bar and Restaurant, Mbuzu, Kalaya, every weekend. God is fire, Safari Com. Well, now that changes things because. Last time we saw Safaricom, we were in Botswana. But I'm going to go with Kenya again for now. Just because of that. See if we can find anything to tell me what street this is. Let's go 
I don't know, the left, which is another thing that makes me think it's Kenya. The yellow license plate mixed with the white one, which I've seen every time I've been in Kenya, which is why it's confusing. We want a mini shop. So th this road is basically an east-west road. We're going to go right there. 63 miles away. Not bad, 47.32. And now, looking around, gosh, I'm hungry. Another flat road in the middle of nowhere. It's a north-south road. It's driving on the left. Considering the markers here and the passing signs here. Oh, now it's on the right. Oh, yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. But the signs are for no passing. Okay. Speed limit 40, is that miles per hour? I think it is. Which is terrible. This is a nice place right here. I like this. With the bunting out on the wraparound porch. We're in the United States somewhere. Little W. Francis. I like that place, but let's see if we can see what roads these are. Burr Oak City Limit. Doesn't look much like a city. Guide Rock, Nebraska 14. Nebraska makes sense. All right, let's see if we can find like a highway number. Burr Oak. So we're on a north-south highway which, where the speed limit's only 40. Is that so I don't piss off the guys in the tractors? White Rock Creek. North-south highway. the Platte River. I used to live, or we almost bought a house off the Platte River. There's the Missouri River. Um, I don't think we're likely to find a creek, especially since this creek here is like, oh, I don't know, six feet wide. But hopefully we should see a sign up here for, you know, here's where you turn to get to the main highway. Lewis Street, Main Street, and Burr Oak. should be a sign somewhere that says, you know, like, turn here to go to highway, you know, whatever, 20, 183, 281. 128 is where we're at, and we're definitely in Nebraska. So, 128, north-south in Nebraska. 23, 281, 81. 385. Be. 
97, 91, 47. so wild I can't find 128 I mean I know it's not gonna be a huge road but food's on its way you know 87 miles there's 128 right there and there's Burr Oak that's exactly where we were, right there. So, yeah, we were uh, in Kansas, actually, not Nebraska. Kansas being the one with the sun markers on there. Damn it. And that's why I couldn't find it. I was looking in Nebraska, and we were in Kansas by just a smidgen. Nice. Windmills, not in America. Not like that. Uh, like it? Nice lake back there. That guy's got a ladder on his house. You can just put a big old long ladder right there on that eave. That's <laughs> that's a nice, nice funny thing to start with. Cows. I mean, if I had to drop without anything else, I'm going to drop right there. But Go with Norway. Especially now. that and the flags kind of gave it away I just I don't know where we are but we're God it's fucking gorgeous why can't I just go be here like right now Lunar Storm if you're in chat you should be seeing this because we should just like go right here and just hang out for a while See if we see anything that says here's a highway number, here's a like what's that? It's just pedestrian crossing. I would have thought maybe there'd be some sort of sign right here saying, you know, hey, you're all right, 545 60. I'm guessing that's the road. Wherever the hell this is, I I, I definitely want to go. Look at look at this fucking lake, or lock, or fjord, or. You'll meet us there and bring Belgian beer. Nice. I want to go. I want to go over and when Pollen or Oktoberfest is uh, available because that's my favorite beer. I'm not much of a beer guy, but I do like Pollen or Oktoberfest. Okay, this is north-south, but it's 540-something, so 
I've got a minute left to find this. Wouldn't it be funny if I dropped right on it already? There's 250, 253, 213, 222. Maybe it's more north than I thought it was. seconds. All right. Wow, it's way off. There's, there it is, 545. We were out here by uh, Fitjar and Sandvikvog and we're next to Rimburijorna. Cool lake. Gorgeous out there. Not very good. All right. My food should be arriving shortly, but I'm going to play one game of chess, as, which probably means four. But I'm not even going. I'm, I'm not going to be here long enough. I'm not even going to bother changing the uh, stream ID, so anybody who came in for GeoGuessr and who sees it is just can just be upset. That I'm going to be doing this. Have I played chess a while? About 15 seconds or so today. Um, for as long as I've been alive, as far as I can remember, I've played. I don't play well, I don't play regularly, and I don't study, but Okay. Any other free pieces you want to give me before we're done? Yeah. Evidently, there were more free pieces you wanted to give me before we were done. And then you wanted to just lose the game. All right. My food is here. My, I'm going to reboot this whole machine. I may be back on streaming later when I get stuff done, uh, but I'm going to go eat. And um, yeah, we'll see if a reboot fixes this or not, but y'all take care. Be safe. Follow the guidelines in your area. Try not to be shit to people. See you later.